Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So my man Dan was looking at Roger's signature and admiring it. And so, Dan, you analyze signatures? He said, as a matter of fact, I kind of do. Stay tuned. This episode is sponsored by my friends at Go Sport, the makers of the most premium, durable, and the most organized bags you can get. Introducing their new 2.0 collection. We got the nine pack, my favorite backpack, and introducing a 12 pack. That's gonna be my bag right there. Check it all out and organize your tennis life at gosport.com. Coffee sponsor of today is Wanda. Wanda writes, I was so jazzed after seeing your review of the Head Extreme Team Avocado I own two now. Oh, Wanda, thank you so much. I appreciate uh, that I was able to help you, actually, and I appreciate you hooking me up with the coffee and letting me know that I was actually, you know, or I played a part in um, helping you determine to get this actually great racket. Avocado Extreme Team is actually a great kind of a medium weighted racket. Um, kind of meant for a woman. <laughs> so you made a great choice, Wanda. Uh, if you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to support the channel, super thanks is the way you can contribute as much or as little as you'd like. Link is below. All right, guys. So Let's go get Dan. All right, guys. So I got my man Dan here. And one day, for some reason, we were talking about signatures. And he was looking at Roger's signature and saying, that's how, you know, he's very proud of how he signs his name. It's kind of like, like a artwork, like a, a proud painting that he just did. So it's like Picasso when he signs his name. And so I was thinking, I was like, Dan, are you a signature uh, an analysis? And he's like, you know, I have studied signatures all my life. And I was like, so Dan, how do I sign my, my line? And he's like, you are like, you don't really care. You just want to get it over with. And you just go like this. And he literally almost signed my name. And he's never seen my signature before. And I'm like, how the heck did you know that? And so I said, Dan, let's, let's analyze not my signature, because that's kind of worthless and useless. But we just let, did. <laughs> <laughs> but let's, uh, let's analyze the big three's um, autographs and see what Dan can tell about each of them. Uh, where would you like to start? Well, um, I think the first one we did look at was Roger's signature. And um, I was looking at the, the one on the racket, actually as a, a, a kind of a cleaner version of it than the one on this grip. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about the one here for a second. Um, and and just, just for background, um, I, I, you know, in my professional life, uh, looked at a lot of uh, employment applications. And for some reason, um, I thought it was interesting to, to look at the person's background and what they were doing in their life. And for some reason, I just started looking at signatures on the applications. It's back in the old day, you know, when you had a, a real signature. Nowadays, it's all electronic. And I realized that, um, and then you get to know people after you hire them, you know, my own team. And I realized that the signature is really um, a very quick insight into your personality. If you think about it, your signature is a representation of who you are. 
in my opinion. Mm. And it's not just, you know, scratch it out, make an X and move on. For, for most people, they think about how their signature forms, how it develops from a, as you're a child to an adult. So when I looked at Roger's signature, I went, wow, that is a really cool signature. He's got these, these two giant sort of S-shaped, you know, Roger Federer. Let's, it's not an R and F, it's two of the exact same shapes. And they're, they're beautiful. They're giant, swirly, um, symmetrical. And then, and then he puts a little cross there and a little thing at the end and a little thing there. So it's got lots of character. You know, does this guy have flair? Does he have style? Is he, is he, is, does he, is he sophisticated? Okay, I've never met him. I don't know. I've seen him play tennis. You can't tell much from that. But this tells me that this guy is really um, a special personality. And if you're watching, uh, that, that's, a, that's a compliment and said in the most respectful way. So this is, to me, um, and I'm sure a real handwriting analyst would, would have a lot more to say or disagree with me. And I respect that because, again, I'm by no means a professional. But, but I was fascinated by the signature when I saw it. And, um, and it says a lot about his personality. He's, he's open. He's caring. He has style. Um, and and there's, there, there's sort of openings in here so that he, he can be private. He's got some private parts, some open parts. And so, you know, just a really class act is what I see in the signature. Okay. okay. All right. Well, he is Swiss. And have you ever seen him kind of disheveled? Uh, he's always perfectly dressed. Everything's tailored. Um, he's well spoken. Right. He's, he's, you know, everything you would expect from, from seeing that uh, glimpse into his, his personality. Now, now this one uh, really fascinated me as well. This is an absolutely crazy signature uh, if you look at what's going on here. So let's just take a quick look. You got a big closed circle here, okay? What does that mean? This guy is locked up tight, okay? You are not going to get inside this guy's head. If you want to mess with this guy's head in the tennis mat, you're not getting in there, okay? This is a freaking vault um, of, of enclosure. This is a very, very private person. And I guess if you grow up with bombs going over your head and thinking you're going to die every day, you would probably shut down here. Now, what does he do? He puts a big thing through it. Um, so it's like there, there is a way in, but good luck finding it. And then look what he does here. It looks like a smiley face. Look at that. Hmm. So he has the sense of humor that he'll show you outside of the enclosure, right? He'll show you some sense of humor. Do you really know what's going on inside? No. But this tells, this tells you everything about this guy. Right. And it's exactly consistent with what you see. Um, but I wouldn't, try to, I wouldn't try to cite this guy out. So what we should do is we should get a handwriting, um, a signature analysis of all the pro players. And then I can tell you how to beat them by looking at their signature. Oh, How's that gonna, would be an interesting would, thing. That would be a fun video. Yeah. Okay. Now, again, I'm just fascinated by Rafa's signature. Look what he does. I've never seen this before. Um, he signs his name, and then he writes it out. Like, you don't know who that is <laughs> because you can't actually read it? No one can read what the name is. So he has a feeling that he needs to explain the squiggle. So what does the squiggle mean? If you just saw that, we... it's closer to Harry's signature, right? right. <laughs> kind of. Now, now, is this consistent with what you see on the tennis court? No. Okay, this is the guy that lines up the water bottles, that has the whole thing going on. Everything is absolutely OCD out there, right? Uh -huh. Is this an OCD signature? No. This is a carefree, relaxed, hey, let's get it done and move on. Is that what you see? No. So somewhere in here, he prints this out very carefully. So this is what I think is on the inside. I think he's more relaxed on uh, here than he kind of shows here. Uh, but the, the 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 need to to kind of explain it um, is that insecurity? I don't know. I wouldn't really imagine that. But maybe there's a little bit of that in there. Here it is again. Look, here's the real deal. He spells it out. Anyway, that's that's my two cents. And how would you beat this guy given that signature? Um, you'd, you'd you'd have to you'd have to rattle his confidence. I would sit here and and try to rattle his routine. 
So when he's ready to serve, I go, hey, hold on one second. I got to tie my shoe. Just try to try to get from here into here. And I've seen that happen. Yeah, I've seen that. Ha- and he will start going in and uh, questioning the umpire as to the intentions of his opponent. And that's how he gets rattled. Rattle him. You can right. rattle that one. This guy, you can rattle this guy? No. I wouldn't try to rattle this guy. I would... Uh, He'll I, rattle you. I would appeal to his <laughs> sense of humor. I would make him laugh. And then and then he would um, lose focus here. I'd mm. figure out something funny to do. You know, I might might kind of pull my shorts down funny or pull them up funny. Uh, <laughs> this guy, you have nothing you can do against this. This is style and class. You, you can't get in because what you see is what you get. And are you going to beat this guy getting into his head? No. You better play some lucky, damn lucky tennis. Okay. okay. There we go. So, Coach Dan, who would be our best friend that we would like to hang out with? Um, you know, I'd, I'd have to go with, with uh, the Fed here. He's open. He's friendly. Um, very sincere. Um, you know, stands behind his word. Uh, he'd be day in and day out a very consistent uh, friend. He would be fun, kind of, you know, a couple jokes in the locker room, um, but otherwise a very, very private person. Um, you know, probably a three-hour long dinner here um, might get kind of quiet. <laughs> you know, hi, how are you? Let's have some fun. Maybe when you leave, bye, that was fun. But three hours, be, be, I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Um, Rafa, I think on a on a good day, uh, he'd be a lot of fun and, and really cool. I think if he's if he's a little down, you know, on the next day, um, he'd be he'd be probably less consistent as a friend. Although he, I'm sure he has a lot of friends and perfectly awesome human being to hang around with. I'd love to hang out with all of them. But uh, it's a, it's a, uh, based on the signature. That's that's what I would say. Got it. So as a former um, human resources executive, what do you think the best job would be for the three of them not in tennis Ooh, that's a tough one so i think uh i think rafa would be great in in sales um i think he's got the ability to just have this warm charming personality uh, to get out there and connect with people uh, but also take his job very seriously and so i think he'd be uh he'd be your your, your chief chief sales guy right there okay Novak, this is this is. Remember, we talked about this this vault here. Mm-hmm. This is your head of security right here. Okay, <laughs> we're going to protect the company. Uh, no one's getting in, and um, I'm I'm going to I'll put my life on the line to protect this company. That's that's your security guy. Okay, right here, that's your CEO. Okay, this is the guy. He's a natural leader. People want to follow him. Uh, charismatic leader, and uh, uh, that's that's no no doubt a CEO in my mind. So that's your next career, guys. Okay. So we know me. what each of the big three are going to do after tennis, according to my man, Dan here. Dan, thank you for analyzing the signatures of the big three. Um, and a full disclaimer, I'm not a professional handwriting analyst. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just basically making this up as I go along, but that's what I see. We're just having fun. Just having fun. <laughs> but... From what Dan has told me on my signature and the people that are around us, he's been almost completely accurate. So I don't doubt the man. Okay? Uh, (laughs) That's fun. That was fun, Dan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.